Uh, one reason that a uh, human being can't see is because all human beings are wicked. There's not one that's not wicked. And that's why we must be born again of the heart so that God can take the spirit of wickedness from the heart and replace it with his love. And, when, and his love is light, is everything. Then you start to see what's going on. I remember uh, years ago when we first started out, we used to do a lot of protests over the downtown, everywhere, right? And we were protesting the borders being open, all kind of stuff that was happening. And so I was thinking today, when I reflect on that time, a lot of people who protested with us are now dead, and because they were older people, and some were younger, but they're now dead. And I was thinking of the time, I can't think of any time that protesting has done anything good. It's like, I don't, I don't know of a time where it's for abortion, against open borders, protect America, uh, whatever, the drag queen stuff. I don't know of one time when human beings have ever protested and something good came out of it. I know of many times when bad things came out of protest. You can protest with something bad. For an example, the abortion issue. They protest every year they have this annual march thing in Washington, D.C. against abortion. And thousands of people show up, and they have picket signs, and they chant. And we used to do the same thing, so I totally understand it. And they do this and that. But then abortion is still happening, it, it, like more so than even before they start protesting. And then they had one this past weekend. I think it was like a 50-year celebration about abortion. But they were so happy that abortion was taken out of the U.S. Supreme Court. But I'm thinking taking the, which it should be a state issue anyway, but taking it away from the U.S. court, it didn't stop abortion. They just did the right thing and let the state handle it. But abortion is happening more now than any other time. And so do anyone know of any time that big protests have happened, any time in history, and it turned out to be a good thing? You know time, Ray? Okay. I don't know that this, uh, this will uh, qualify, but even for me, a uh, Memphis bo uh, bus boycott in, in, 19, in 1955, that was a form of protest. But nothing good came out of it, though. I'm talking about protests when good came from it. Any time in history, I know a lot of you are history buffs, so you may know them, but that, that wasn't good, right? I mean, that was a bad thing. Bad, when you protest with evil, evil happens. When you want abortion, when you want open borders, when you want drag queen shows, when you want this or that, those things happen. But I've never known a protest over the years for anything good and good came from it. Now, I'm, I'm black and slow, so I could be missing it. Maybe you guys know. Uh, who, I saw a hand, another hand. You know of a protest when something good came from it? I'm well, the, I believe so. The, um, in the Middle East, they had a, this man was protesting uh, how unfair the government was treating him, and so he burned himself. I mean, that was a form of protest, you know. And, uh, but nothing good came from that. He did. They, they overthrew the, the dictator, I think, eventually in the Middle East, like, and it started like a line of like. How about in America? I, I oh, don't okay. know about all that. I, I meant like in this country, oh, okay. a Christian country. And I don't, none comes to my mind. Yeah. Yeah. You, ha okay. I love this country. No, me too. With all my heart. Yeah. So I can't prove it. I can't show you, okay, uh, we did a protest and, okay, this person was saved for the protest. Was saved? What do you mean? I said, I cannot prove that protests, good protests, good people protesting changed something. I can't prove that. But what I can say is that um, it's about changing the minds, and a lot of times it's done in secret. Uh, for instance, at abortion clinic, I've heard of women saying that. No, they, I just want to know if there are times where there have been protests for good, something good. Thousands of people showed up, and something good came out of what well, we all knew about it. That good came from it. Parades. Uh, 
Who? Like a Fourth of the Fourth of July parade? That's not a protest, man. Well, it's it's a That's type a of celebration. protest celebration, you know. Yeah. It's it's a question not clear. Okay. Well, I go back to the abortion, uh, the abortion rally, and how that has. There have been women who were were stopped at going that, and that's a saved life right there. But it hasn't stopped abortion. Uh, no, it hasn't. But it stopped it. It stopped it for this one person because it's an individual. But I'm talking about. Maybe I'm just not clear, but I'm talking about anybody know a major protest in this country ever where something good came from it and we all knew that something good came from it. Because they could be saying, oh, this woman decided not to have an abortion. We don't know that. Yes, right here. Um, I, I'm not a history buff either, but so I'm taking a guess. Does anyone know how the, like, Speak the, up for me? the Vietnam War protest? Is that on? Oh, okay. Speak up the way you were singing. <laughs> Beautiful music, by the way. Thank you. Um, like the protests against the Vietnam War. I, that's the only thing that came to me. But that's still a mess. Right? People made a lot of money from that, but it still didn't turn out the way that... Because we used to protest with the Vietnam people that were left over, and they were complaining how it was just a government thing but it really did help the people. People made money from it. Contractors made money from it, but it didn't help. You had your hand? Yes. So one more, then we move on. You had your hand, right? Okay. As a matter of fact, for some of those wars, when the, when the military came back, they were spit on by the people. Yeah. They were cussed out. They were treated poorly. So, so protests don't help, not for the good. It helped for the evil. Yes, sir. One more, and then we move on. Um, I disagree completely. Uh, about what? About your generality there. Protests so do help. Some a, of them do help. No, no, Some no, no, of them no, don't. No. Hold, on, hold on. It's not like an agreement or disagree. I'm asking a question. Okay, okay. Sorry about that. When was there, in this country, were there ever a major protest happening and things got better? Yes. Um, I mean, I remember, I don't know, 10, 12 years ago, um, all these people were protesting about the $15 minimum wage. And now it's kind of been accepted now that $15 is okay. Before, when, it, when people were protesting about the $15 minimum wage, like 10, 12 years ago, maybe, everybody was like, that's crazy. And now it's like, you know what? Wages should go up. And I noticed that Amazon's paying better, Taco Bell's paying better, Target's paying better. So, I mean, it's but shocking. tell me something good just came it out came of it. It came out of it. It's bad. raised the bar but in the terms of, of the wages. I know, but the government doesn't have a right to tell a private company what to pay. So that's not good. I, and people I, do eventually accept evil. They'll say, oh, I don't yeah, think $15 I know, is evil. I know that it's wrong. I'm not saying $15 is not evil, evil or not. But what I'm saying is the government doesn't have the right to tell private business what to do, what to pay. And as a result of that, they do now, and, and people accept it as though it's a good thing, but it's not good for the company because they have to hire people that don't want to work, they're lay there because of the law. So that's not a good thing. Do you have a good example? It is a good example. Amazon's paying more, Target's paying more, <laughs> Taco Bell's paying more. It's incredible. I love the, I love the people that had the guts to do it 15, do, do 10, 10 15, 12 years ago. Let me ask this because of time. Okay. Do the government have a right to tell you how much to pay your employees? There are laws in the land, labor laws. You I have know there are, but the question is, do, does the government have the right to tell you as an employee uh, what you should pay your employees. 100% yes, because oh. there's such thing as called minimum wage, right? Before, it, it, I mean, I mean it, it's, it's changed the mindset of so many Americans. Now that it's so like- So where is your freedom in having your own business if the government tell you what to do with it? There's limited freedoms in every country, right? Uh, Even included United States. So you have to accept that. It's part oh, okay. of the freedom of being in the United States. There's some restrictions. What do you think about him except, what do you just say? Right here. I don't necessarily understand what he's saying. I don't 
know that that's what you're talking about. I think that was just legislation that went into place that but eventually are, led up to... What he's saying is that there are unions and things that have protests, and they want more money. And that's true to me, because I used to work for unions, so I know they do do that. They make the employees mad. They, the the, op, the uh, workers of the union go into a company, and they tell the lazy employees, you need to be mad. You're not making enough money. You need to be, this company will rip you off. You should be making $15 an hour. And the lazy person said, oh, yeah, that's right. And then so the lazy person go and whisper to the hardworking people, you're not making enough money. Do you, you want to have a meeting to help us make enough money? And so the smart people join forces with the lazy people, like, yeah, we do want most money. But when they make that money, that money goes to the union. It doesn't, because now you got to pay more union dues. It, it goes to the, for the union to be having major parties. I used to work for a union. And before I went to work for them, I worked for the hospital, right? And then I went and worked for the union. They'd be having amazing parties. Oh, some of the best parties, lots of food. And they give you cars to drive and gas. And all you have to do is convince the people to vote for the union. But the people don't get the money. The employees don't get the money, really. They get it, but it goes into union dues and things like that. And so he thinks that it's good that the union forced the companies to, make, to pay the employees more money. He doesn't see the behind scenes the setup. Whereas a, a decent employer would pay a hard-working, devoted employee right anyway most of the time. They would pay them fairly. They wouldn't have to need the union. And that employee would get all the money, yeah. all the money, all their little extra raise. You see I, what I mean? I just, I understand. I, I'm not really familiar with that, but I just, I know that the minimum wage was set at whatever it was for so many years. I think that there's a natural cost of living yeah. sort of, you know, increase that will go into effect, but yeah, I'm not really familiar. He believed with. that the union, that the government should be able to tell you, as a business owner, how much to pay the employee. Well, I disagree that the government should be involved in any business yeah. uh, decision like that. Yeah. So I don't agree with that. The whole point to this is that human nature is evil. It's wicked. There's nothing good about human nature. Even a nice person is evil. As a matter of fact, a nice person is worse or they're not showing it outwardly how evil they are, right? I, um, a, a, a guy called my show this week. He'd been married for six years, I believe. Married for six years. And he would not, I think he was, maybe another call said this, but he would not let his mother know that he was married. He wouldn't tell her because she would go out of control. She didn't like the girl when he was dating her, according to him. And he married her. He, he, he told the other family members to see about the, the marriage. But he, he is afraid to, to let his mother know that he got married because she's going to go and attack not only him, but the rest of the family members for not telling her, telling them, for them not telling her. Isn't that evil? What the? Nah. So I told him to get his mama the finger and, and move on with his life. You must be born again. The heart must change from hate to love. Otherwise, you're going to be lost. There ain't no way around it. You're just going to be lost.